You might be wondering, what was the rationale behind the creation of drives? Anyone can video a journey in a car driving along a road and play it back on a PC or big screen TV. Indeed, a mobile phone can do the job. Okay, but a drive video adds value in the form of narration and music. Mike kicked off with a few pretty awful efforts years ago, but let me show you a couple of clips from that time, demonstrating that the same philosophy applies today. The story goes like this. At age 92, Mike's mother, Betty, had to give up driving. She loved buzzing around in her little yellow car, especially being able to drive out to a harbor viewpoint and picnic whilst watching the ships coming and going. For Betty, losing her car and ability to get out and about independently was devastating. Eventually, she went to live in a Cornish care home, where family and staff did their best to provide Betty with the mental stimulation that is so essential in preventing the onset of aging processes, such as Alzheimer's. Being in New Zealand, Mike felt pretty useless, but then he hit on the idea of using Google Map Street Views to simulate drives through areas that were familiar to his mom, to add narration and music, and to use Skype to share his efforts with her. With the enthusiastic involvement of Allison, a staff member, and Mike's sister Sue, Betty enjoyed the rather jerky visits down memory lane, and indeed perked up significantly. With today's technology, virtual drives can bring enjoyment to not just the aged and sick, but also to handicapped people, and anyone who cannot get out in the countryside for drives, for any number of reasons, including being locked down by coronavirus. Drives are free, for all to view.